My name is Alexandra Brown. I'm the director of the LLM in Comparative and European Private Law. And I'm also the personal tutor for the students on that course. I teach two of the courses that we offer, uh, Fundamentals of Comparative Private Law and Comparative and International Trust Law. We live in a globalized world. That means that anyone working in legal practice, in a corporation or in an international organization will come across different laws and different legal concepts. And it's therefore very important for students to be acquainted with different approaches to the law. There are also many other reasons why the comparative study of the law is so important. Uh, we tend to make a number of assumptions about our own legal system and other legal systems. And through the comparative study of the law, we see some of these assumptions and we question them. And that also means that we are then um, forced to ask new questions, questions that we didn't even know we had. In addition, I think the comparative study of the law also means that we broaden our understanding of how legal uh, rules, but also legal principles, work in a particular context. And it sharpens our focus uh, on the values and um, interests that underpin those rules and principles. And finally, I think it's very important because we are then able to see um, cultural but also legal convergences and divergences and better understand how legal change comes about. Scotland is a mixed legal system whose laws have been strongly influenced by both the common and the civil law. And that means that the legal comparison is part of the everyday legal discourse. Um, Edinburgh has a very long-standing tradition in private uh, law scholarship and it has a very vibrant centre of private law that organises a number of events that involve not just our PhD students but also our LLM students. And many members of the centre have, have been and are involved uh, not just in the comparative study of law but also in European private law projects. We offer a broad range of courses on this programme and that means that students can cover most areas of private law from a comparative perspective, ranging from contract law to delict and torts, property law, trust law, family law and child law. And we've recently also added a new course on comparative statutory interpretation which is very popular with students. In addition, students can do uh, private international law, but they can also take courses in legal history, legal philosophy, and a range of other subjects. Another strength um, of the program, I think, is that it attracts students from all manner of backgrounds uh, and jurisdictions. So we have common and civil lawyers on board, but we also have students from other mixed legal jurisdictions. And what I particularly enjoy is that it's a rather small program and that means that I get to know the students very well and often have conversations with them about their future career progression, which I think is very important. Uh, it also means that it's easier to organize social events and that this is a very uh, close-knit group that supports one another and that goes out you know, for all sorts of events, but also stays in touch once they leave Edinburgh. And I think that's a, a really nice thing. Students who have graduated from the LLM in Comparative and European Private Law have gone on to do a number of different things. Um, we have students uh, continuing their studies either here or in their home countries, uh, for instance from the 2019 and 2020 uh, cohort we have three students currently doing a PhD at Edinburgh University. But many of them go on to uh, international law firms, others work in NGOs or international organizations or corporations, and there are some who have set up successful businesses.